Hey Zero, welcome back to today's lesson. Today we're going to learn about matrix multiplication in Python. Before we dive into implementing matrix multiplication with NumPy library, we explore how matrix works and understand the basic concepts of matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is a mathematical operation that takes two matrices and produces another matrix. It is an essential operation in various fields, including computer science, physics, and engineering. To multiply two matrices A and B to get matrix C, so the number of columns in A must be equal to the number of rows in B. Let's say we have two matrices A and B, and we multiply both matrices together and we get another matrix that is called C. So uh, in this case, the number of columns in matrix A must be equal to the number of rows in matrix B. Suppose you have matrices A with dimensions M by N and matrix B with dimensions N by P. So the resulting matrix C will have dimensions M by P. Let's say C of I and J. So each element in C is obtained by multiplying the elements of the I's row of matrix A by the corresponding elements of the J column of matrix B. And summing up the results, is the basic formula for matrix multiplication. So this is the formula of matrix multiplication. So uh, take the dose product of the elements in the i's rows of matrix A with the elements in the j's columns of matrix B. Then sum up this product to obtain the element at position i and j in the resulting matrix of C. Let's consider an example of matrix A and B. And the matrix B. And the result matrix uh, C is given by. Then, where the result of the element in matrix C is obtained from the i's rows of the matrix A by the j's columns of matrix B. OK. How this, uh, the resulting matrix is obtained from the products of uh, matrix A and B. Here, the first element in the resulting matrix is obtained from the sum of the product of each row in the matrix A multiplied by each column in the matrix B. For example, C11 is obtained from C11 is obtained from the sum of the product of the first row in the A with the first columns in the B, which is A11 by B11 plus A12 by B21. So we get this element in the result matrix. The same is true for uh, the second element in the first row of the result matrix, which is 2C12 is obtained from a11, which means the first row multiplied by the second uh, column in the matrix B, we get the second element in the first row uh, in the resulting matrix, which is C12. So we multiply A11 by B12 plus A12 by B22. 
All right, now we finished the first row uh, in the result matrix, which is obtained from the first row in A multiplied by the columns in the uh, matrix B. Now let's obtain the second row in the result matrix uh, from the second row in the matrix A multiplied by both columns in the matrix B, which means C21 is obtained from A21 multiplied by B11 plus A22 multiplied by B21. And the last is this one. C22 is obtained from A21 multiplied by the second column in the B matrix. A21 multiplied by B12 plus A22 multiplied by B22. Now we get this result. The resulting matrix in matrix multiplication is obtained from the i's rows of the matrix A by the j's columns of the matrix B. And summing up the resulting of the dot product in both matrix. Okay, that is what matrix multiplication. So we can implement this in uh, uh, Python using NumPy library, uh, but keep in mind that matrix multiplication is not cumulative. A by B is not equal to B by A. Look, A by B is multiply the rows of the matrix A by the columns of the matrix B. But if you uh, interchange uh, that B multipl uh, multiplied by A means the rows in B multiplied by the columns in A. So the result is not equal. So that is, so you keep uh, in mind that the matrix multiplication is not cumulative. All right, now we are going to implement this in uh, Python using NumPy library. To resist, uh, we can go to the text editor or code editor in Jupyter Notebook or any other code editor. And we're going to import NumPy. Now we are going to create two matrices using NumPy array, and we are going to uh, multiply the matrices using uh, multiplication. Okay, let's go. All right. Now I have created two matrices, matrix A and B, and the first matrix, uh, which is matrix A has two rows and three columns, and matrix B has uh, three rows and two columns. Now we are going to multiply both matrices and get the resulting matrix, which is called C. So uh, to get the result matrix, we use add symbol to apply matrix multiplications in uh, NumPy. So the result matrix is 20, 26, uh, 18, 62, 42. How 26 is obtained from this uh, matrix multiplication? So 26 is obtained uh, from the multiplication, the sum of the product of the first row uh, by the first uh, columns, which is one multiplied by three plus two multiplied by four plus 
3 multiplied by 5. No, 3 by 1 by 3 is 3. 2 by 4 is 8. 3 by 5 is 15. Now 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 15 is 26. Okay. What about 18? 18 is obtained from the first row multiplied by the second row in the matrix B, which means one multiplied by two from the plus, two multiplied by two plus, three multiplied by four. Look, one uh, by two is one, I mean two plus, two by two is four, four plus two is six, plus three by four is 12, 12 plus six is eight. The same is true for the uh, remaining uh, matrix elements or array elements. So we apply the same process to obtain the second row in the resulting matrix, okay? But keep in mind that matrix multiplication is not cumulative, that means A by B is not equal to B by A. So let's see. All right. So uh, which means we just multiply the uh, rows of B by columns of A. So the resulting of this matrix and uh, this one is not equal, which means uh, it's not cumulative. So this is how matrix is working. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial uh, about matrix multiplications uh, in Python. And you can apply your knowledge uh, in matrix multiplication because Matrix multiplication is very essential for physics, uh, computer science, uh, data analysis, especially numerical computing uh, uh, and uh, engineering as well. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write comments below in the comment section of this video tutorial. Thanks for watching today.